Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to... Hey, hello, point the camera down at me. Hello. Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you could put your face into other objects, just like I did right here with this apple. And that's what this video is going to be all about. If you are new to this channel and want to learn DaVinci Resolve filmmaking tips and tricks and want to have a look at some pretty cool gear, I would recommend you to subscribe. And if you want to support the channel even more, push the join button down below and become a member of this channel. Also, you can join our Facebook group and start to build a great community. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get right to the video. Oh man, I can't do the YouTube transition. Don't have any hands. Well, just do a cut. Okay, so let's get right to it. For this effect, we are going to need two clips. Uh, in this case, I have a Apple clip here. Uh, and it, this is a compound clip. I just did that to make the lengths fit the other or my face here. And that is the second clip we're going to need for this thing. And a um, little bit of a pro tip here is uh, try to keep your head as still as possible because this will make the effect look a lot better. And that's what I try to do. If I did a good job, well, you'll be the judge of that. So we're simply going to highlight both our clip, right click and go up and make a new Fusion clip. And that's done. We're going to jump into Fusion. And this is what we have here. So let's see what is what. Here we have a apple, which is fine. We can rename these by pushing the uh, F2 key, or in my case, you're using the function F2 because I'm on the editor's keyboard. And we're just going to write apple like that. And then this is probably going to be me. So I'm just going to drag that up here. Okay, so let's uh, start out here. So we're going to add in some polygons and a mask, and I'm going to need three of those. One, two, three. Now those are connected. So let's just um, deselect these so they're not connected because it's a bit easier to do it that way. So going into the first mask here, and um, if you push down Control and use the middle mouse wheel you can zoom in like that which is quite nice so we're going to make a mask around the first eye here something like that we'll go to the second mask here and do the exact same thing more or less then we'll go to the third mask just going to zoom out a bit and I'm going to make a mask around my mouth. So around the mouth it can be a little bigger because, um, you know, you're talking. And then we are just going to connect all those down into our media, to or our input media, like that. And this is the final result and that looks terrible. So we're going to do some more stuff, of course. First up, we're going to go up here and we're going to drag in a transform node, which is going to make us adjust the size. And we're going to do that up in the inspector. I'm going to size this down a bit, move it, something like that. Then we are going to take a color corrector and we have that right here. And we're just going to drag that again down here in our line here. And uh, we're going in here and we're going to push the color towards green. Let's say something like that. Of course, if we uh, now zoom in a bit, we can do a little bit better job by using the hue here. And also the saturation, we can make that more or less something like that. But still, this looks like a robber with a ski mask. Um, so we're going to blend in our clips a little bit. And the way you're doing that would be to go back to the polygons and go into the soft editors. 
something like that. And then we could also use the border if we want to make it bigger or smaller. In this case, something like this, I think should be good. So we're going to do the exact same thing for the other polygon, trying to make them look a little bit alike. Again, using the soft edges and the borders. So something like that. Pretty quick and uh, pretty easy. So um, if you did the fusion compound and you actually put in the, the clips the wrong way, you could um, go down to that merge and right click and then just simply swap inputs. But um, I didn't do that, so yeehaw. So that is how you do this effect. Super fast, super easy inside a fusion. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it would help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.